welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, Tyrants of Sardinia, A New Tyrant Rises. So this episode, starting off exactly where we left off in the previous episode, the 13th of April, 923 AD. If you missed the previous episode, I'll pop a link in the in the comments, uh, I'll pin it to the top, to the playlist, then you can go back and go to whichever video you're up to. There will also be a link in the description, or you could just click on my channel and go and find the video that you like to watch. We are playing two Crusader Kings playthroughs at the moment. We've got this one, and we've got the Empire of Britannia on the go as well. So there's plenty of Crusader Kings content to be getting your teeth into. But that's enough about that. So we're going to crack on exactly where we left off. And we are Arkan McKelly II of Sardinia. Our father has literally just died, and we have taken over. We are detested by pretty much everybody, but then we are tyrants, you know, so it's to be expected. Our son, McKelly will become McKelly the third unless we end up getting killed in this playthrough before that happens is 14 years old his guardian was my father and obviously he's no longer available so we will have to find a new guardian to finish off his education for the last couple of years and other than that we're not going to be doing too much in this episode we're going to sit tight we're going to kill some more people probably we're going to work down the intrigue uh, tree here the uh, lifestyle focus we want to get down to kidnapper and see if we can kidnap some people maybe you know we're going to work on trying to get the duchy of corsica there's been a couple of suggestions in the comments one being oh, actually before i crack on with this just to make you aware this video will be chaptered so if you want to just get straight to the play but just get go get up to the bit where you want to be up to basically um so back to this um it was suggested in the comments that we should maybe swear fealty to the Pope and work on making the Papal Empire. That means we could then sit back for a while initially and play tall, basically, and make money, uh, develop our regions and develop our cultural heritage. Um, but I'm not sure if that's the way to go with it. Another suggestion was to kidnap the King of Lothrangia. Now, and then, and then press our claim on the dukedom of Corsica. I'm not sure exactly how that would work, but I'm willing to give it a go. Um, I'd, I'd, I'll try that before swearing fealty to the Pope, although swearing fealty to the Pope might also be interesting. It might make for an interesting game, so I'm not sure. We'll see what develops. We've got a thousand in the bank. Um, we are <laughs> not doing that well on the piety front, minus 27. Our splendor is growing, and we're almost at significant, which is nice. And other than that, things are things are actually they're okay, except for our vassals hating us. But that's partly due to who our father was and other factors. So let's just get on with this and see where it takes us. Alright, so as you'll know if you followed the series, I'm by no means an expert at this game at all. I don't pretend to be. But so if you ever have any any suggestions, anything like that, pop them in the comments. Sometimes I follow them, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I'll open it up for discussion in the videos, uh, and and so on. You know, it's it's one of those things. Like I, like I say, I'm I'm not I'm far from an expert at this game, but I do like it. <laughs> uh, we can't really construct that much stuff. Most of these provinces are fairly empty as well, which is means it gives us some scope for building up and uh, making some money maybe let's have a look what, what we got available here let's go for a trade port handy to have those kicking about and we still got 965 left over after that so we can build something else farms farms is a nice one for bringing in the cash we can't make the duchy building because we haven't got the right innovation for that uh we're missing burrs let's just have a quick look at what we're working on here we're working on barracks okay so that's gonna be another five years that's a long time isn't it we still, we still on tribal? Surely not. Tribal innovations, alright, right, right. I think we've just, have we just upgraded this castle maybe? I really can't remember, but there's hardly anybody in it. Uh, my niece Rita has given birth to a daughter. Okay. She's in our realm. She detests us. She's our rival. <laughs> okay, fine. I didn't want to seduce her. It's a bit messed up, I think. Uh, we could murder her, even though she's our niece, but she really doesn't like us very much, so maybe we should. Just for something to do. Keep us busy. And what better way to go about things on the tyranny branch than to start killing people straight away. How old are we? We are 33 already. Uh, let's educate our son. We'll finish off his education. We've increased our level of splendor. Nice. 
let's raise some more troops. And we're going to have an extra regiment of armoured footmen. And let's go with another regiment of archers as well. My scheme to see my niece dead has been discovered. Oh my goodness. This is an act of tyranny. Um... <laughs> Oh, I will show them how far I can go, but I don't know what that actually... Does this mean we kill her, or...? I'm not sure. I think we just carry on with the with the uh, scheme. Let's learn our wife's language while we're at it. Or try to, anyway. Only a 50% success chance, but she doesn't really like us very much, and that's it's about to help if we speak the same language. Let's go with barracks to get us some more levies, because we can only do 2,600 men, which is not that many, really. Because we're a year into our new reign. The time has come. My agents are in place. One of them will pay the assassin the, right, uh, the very night the deed will happen. Another will ensure the wall is unguarded. A third will leave a subtle trail of candles to Rita's bedchamber. Everything is in place. Do it. 82% chance she is killed. 5% chance the scheme is discovered. The plan worked and Rita is finally dead. Heh. <laughs> I have covered my tracks well, even though everybody knew we were doing this. Uh, and if anyone suspects me for being behind the attack, no one dares say it out loud. Good. So we lose 40 stress for that because it was our rival, and uh, we get 150 prestige. Excellent. Let's find uh, this guy. Actually hates us as well, but he's a useful knight. So eh, we'll, we'll keep him about. Let's find my wife. What about this comely lady? Who is she? Nobody. Yeah, fine. Come to my court. Court physician. Who have we got? Nobody. Let's give it our wife. It'll improve the opinion slightly. Court tutor. He's got good aptitude for that. Let's get him in there. Awesome. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending a large amount of gold in bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lady in pearl and silk. Apparently, he drew a map of the local plan plains for an unknown noblewoman. The spies think the lady must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. Uh, this idiot belongs in my dungeons. Bring him to me. I can jog his memory. Let's do that one. The murder ermenerda scheme was uncovered. Alright. Oh, so she was married to our father. She's 41. I was going to say let's marry her to someone, but really none of these guys are much use. Let's not bother. So our son has come of age. Let's see what it's got to say. With this coming of age, my tuition of McKelly is at an end. For the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach McKelly the intricacies of careful planning. All efforts have come to naught, however. With a lack of subtlety and patience, he finds it difficult to execute on his long-term plans. He, at least, he tries to make plans. What's he got then? Amateurish plotter. That is not a very good looking start line. My wife spends a significant amount of time travelling the realm with her honour guard. There are many matters she can settle on my behalf, and the military presence Arcona Arnwen brings with her is a firm reminder of my right to rule. So we gain 150 prestige. Make sure the people grovel appropriate, uh, appropriately, my dear. We gain 12 dread. Or everyone should fear me and worship at my feet. Uh, she would gain stress and lose opinion. Let's let's go with... We'll just gain 150 prestige. Let's have a quick look at him. Actually, he's not very good. Can we get shot of him somehow? Yeah, he won't... He won't have that. I, I don't want him being a knight either, so hang on. Let's have, we've got another son. He's only eight, and he doesn't look very good either so far. If I'm honest, if I'm perfectly honest, both of these sons look pretty damn disappointing. Seven, nine, six, nine, and four with an eight prowess. Quick. I mean, uh, he is lustful, impatient, and humble. All right. Uh, uh, once again, apologies if you can hear any knocking in the background or banging. It's it's my next door neighbors are having like their whole house rebuilt, and it's been going on for about two weeks and getting on my tits. But anyway, <laughs> oh, this might be a decent match, even though she is twenty six. 
But we could always just get rid of her if she manages to... If she doesn't manage to poo out any children for him. Intelligent. So he's quick. She's intelligent. So maybe his offspring could have a decent perk there. And it will get us a, a county alliance. Which eh, is okay. But she's 26. So it's slightly concerning. He'd have to... Eh, he's only 16. So she's 10 years older. But I mean we could get rid of her if we need to. Let's go over that. Yeah, cool. Oh, she really hates us. Minus 75. Short reign, cultural acceptance minus 29. Catholicism is astray. Sadistic. Yeah. Just speeding things up a little here. Oh, I didn't realise our wife was pregnant. I didn't see that come up at all. Oh, my dear McKelly, you are learning my beloved Brythonic. I feel so appreciated you're making such an effort to understand me, she says. Can I help you in any way? Teach you some words, perhaps? I'll take any help I can get. <laughs> How do you say meet me in my bedchamber naked? <laughs> uh, if you gain 20 opinion, and she lays with us, grows closer to forming an intimate relationship with you. Yeah, let's go with that one. Be in my bedchamber naked. <laughs> and we've got another daughter, Adela. Yeah, nice, I'll do. So we now have two sons and two daughters. Our wife doesn't hate us anymore. That's nice. It's always good to have somebody who doesn't uh, hate you. My core tutor, Ramondo, has been aiding me day and night in my efforts to learn Brythonic. His dedication to the art of teaching is inspirational. There's not a day where I am not brought a Brythonic letter to read, a learned Welshman to converse with, or an extraordinary... Mnemonic rhyme? Mnemonic? I don't know. I don't know that word, actually. <laughs> Truly, I would not be this far without Romandu's help. Uh, we pay him 15. Pfft. Doesn't seem like something a tyrant would do. He is doing his job well. Well, maybe we could do with someone else on our side. Yeah, we'll give him 15. What's 15 at the end of the day? It's nothing, is it? Our cultures joined the early medieval area, uh, era. New innovations are available. Let's see if we can find this guy a wife. Our niece? No. We've got lots of nieces kicking around the place here. Are they all unmarried? We'll have to find some husbands for them. Uh, yeah, her, she'll do. So our wife is 36 now. So maybe that's it for children. But that, that'll do. I mean, I would like a better son, but... You know, you can't have it all. So this niece is not married. Let's see if we can find someone to marry her. Not this poxed guy, though. Good Mario after this Duke. Get some nice prestige on the go. High chance of children. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, this other niece. She's 27 already, hasn't been married. Let's find someone for her as well. Another Duke. Yeah, excellent. Happy to ferry these guys out to uh, marry Dukes. She is married already to this dude. Ah, him. That's He was our rival and niece's husband who we just murdered. Right. What's going on at this duchy? We want this duchy. How can I get the duchy? Hmm. Oh, spy master's gone. Oof. Minus 88. Minus 72. It's quite difficult, actually, playing as a tyrant <laughs> with everyone hating you. Minus 72 is not good for the spy master, but then minus 53 is not much better. <laughs> and uh, he's already busy being our chancellor. Let's, uh, well, let's try it. Let's, let's pop him in there. He still kind of hates us. Maybe I'll sway this guy. Oh, no, because we're learning the language. We'll finish, we'll finish learning that language first. Excellent. A couple of alliances there. So that improves our uh, renown per month quite a bit. It brings us a couple of fairly powerful allies. Oops. Not endorsed by the bishop. He's nearly dead. He's 66. He won't be about for much longer. My son, Juan, Juan -y? has been impressed with one of the household knights for a long time. After finally meeting in person, he has been repeating the warrior's words to himself. Work hard and you can master anything. Yeah, you can keep diligent. Oh, we've got a thing here. Let's go digging for dirt. 
and let's work down towards kidnapper. Then see if we can kidnap someone. <laughs> see if we can kidnap that king, as was suggested in the comments. I'm not sure exactly what that will achieve. I, like, I don't know how we can then... Uh, we've been called a war. We will accept. I don't really know. There's a side run here with this guy. Duke of Provence. And who are we fighting? Are these guys? Okay. Well, maybe we'll actually join in that war because it's been a while since we've had any fighting. So I'm just going to have a quick look at my knights. My son is one of them. And I'm going to leave him there. I was going to forbid him, but I think actually he's not looking very good. So if we can get rid of him, if he dies in combat, then that's just the way it is. And I don't actually care. Uh, our second son, I mean, he's not looking great either with a zero in Marshall. But uh, I mean, he's looking equally as bad, if I'm honest. Um, and at least he's got diligent and charming. Not that those are things you look for in a tyrant, exactly, but... Yeah, we're going to leave the son in the army. If he dies, he dies. Let's raise our army. Let's take part in this war. Who's the commander of the army? Falmar. Cool. Brilliant strategist. Let's hope Falmar does a good job here. We've got no siege equipment, so the siege is going to take a while. And we've found barracks. Uh, found. <laughs> Discovered barracks. Um, let's see what then. Burrs is what I would like to go. Burrs is a good one. Battlements is another good one. It's going to take a long time. A long, long time. 56 years, so... I don't know. Unlikely we'll see the end of that. How old are we now? 36, yeah, let's see. So we've learned the language there, our wife's language. Excellent. I feel accomplished. I know this is a, a tyrant playthrough. We haven't done much in the way of tyranny just yet, but like we kind of need to set this guy up a, a little before we get started properly on uh, butchering and killing and murdering. But uh, we will obviously carry on with that. I'm going to swear that dude. I think it's handy to have our spy master on side. My niece is also married into the Menorcan line. So if we can raise more military troops at some point soon, we'll get some siege equipment, I think. <clears throat> so our counselor Jordan. Um, so he's improved our, our liking with this guy, the king of uh, Lotharingia. Excellent. So he's on plus six now. Heir to this kingdom is a leper. My spy master's coming with grave news. Is my wife that is plotting to kill my courtier. Yeah, good. Got a new bishop. But we're not endorsed by the bishop. He's only got nine as well. Let's get rid of him. Let's murder him. Plenty of people straight in to join the scheme. Uh, the war score for this war is minus 16. That should change when we capture this place. Oh, we have captured that place. Prisoners taken in siege. This guy, is a, he's Norse, actually, this dude. Um, all right, that's interesting. He's got prowess of 16. And stewardship of 80, 18. So he might actually be worth keeping on if we're not going to kill him. Let's, let's check it out. A little kid in the dungeon. Nobody, really. But it's his son. <laughs> Who is this guy? Oh, he's, a, he's actually a count, okay, so... Which means, uh, we, so we can't... We'll, well, we'll gain some dread and lose 30 stress because we're sadistic. Yeah, let's kill him. We'll burn him at the stake. Thank you kindly. Uh, count this someone or other. Yeah, so we're going to burn her as well. We'll lose stress. It's fine. Burn at the stake. What about this little dude? Yeah, same goes for him. To the fires with you. Nasty tyrant work. Someone's got to do it. I do feel bad when I've been executing children, but, uh, you know, it's just a game. 
And keep be honest on the board. Let's meet this army in the field, actually. Uh, I'm going to unlock Kidnapper. Awesome. I try to remain subtle. Subtly, that's fine. We're not going to catch him, I don't think. Oh, we did. We caught the second army. Excellent. Captured another combatant. Let's check him out. 61 year old. He's got good prowess, but he's old. I think we should also execute this guy. Goodbye. Yom's Vikings has been called into this war. Okay. We still outnumber them. My vassal. Uh, he's hiding something. Let's return later and search his bedchamber. 100% success chance. As I rummage through his things, Kuridori Furatu sleeps like a babe. The sedative I put in his spiced wine sure did the trick. Within minutes, I have found the piece of parchment he hid. Well, well, well. How delightfully wicked. According to this blackmail letter, Furatu is a non-believer. So we can blackmail him and we'll get a, a weak hook. That means we can increase his rents and stuff. We could imprison him, of course. Or can we not change the feudal contract yet? I'm not seeing it. Well. Let me just check here. I'm not seeing it, so maybe not. So we've got the kidnapper thing going on now. So can we kidnap this guy? 5% chance of success, and it takes six years. So the answer to that is pretty much no. Allies joined the war. Tips it even further now. 95% chance that that guy's killed. Yeah. He survived the poison. So that 5% chance, eh? Not a day passes by without Bishop Nagola making a mockery of me during his sermons. That obsessed knave is certain that I am an agent of Satan. Well, he's probably not wrong. <laughs> and will not rest until he t has turned the peasantry against me. A donation will help calm him down. I have everything under complete control. Uh, yeah, let's kill him. We wanted to kill him anyway. It's tyranny, but I'm not bothered. We've got a new... <laughs> Look at him. We've got a new guy in charge here, and he also does not like us. But nobody does, so I mean, it shouldn't, it's not surprising. Oh, there's a battle going on. Our allies have joined in there as well. Well, I think we've done our bit for this war. We've contributed quite a lot, I think. So let's get our troops back. Let's start earning some money again. Yeah, let's get started. We'll also be the Impaler, of course. So we'll gain 100 Intrigue points, 24 Dread, and we lose 15 stress because we are sadistic. Forest. <laughs> Yeah, the Impaler disbanded that army. So, <laughs> the, the sadism route is well and truly underway. We can designate a guardian for our daughter. Let's give it to the court tutor. We can negotiate an alliance with this guy. Um, our nephew. All oh, right, so that's why. He's only got 42 men, so let's not bother with that. Our spy master on minus 14 now, so it's a bit better. We'll, we'll swear him maybe one more time and then leave it. Our nephew wants a seat on the council, but I mean, I'm not giving you a seat on the council because you suck, mate. She's pregnant again. Our wife. 39. Well, we're 39. She's 40, actually. Seems old for these days to be having children, but I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's not as impossible as it seems. Well, not impossible, but you know what I mean. Now, we can't actually create another man-at-arms regiment, so why don't we go ahead and, and create some onagers for some siege equipment. That, that way, if we want to conquer somewhere, at least we've got something to knock down the walls. It's 929 now. Our wife is a novice physician. I think that's our wife. Yeah, she, oh, she's ill, actually. And pregnant. Um, we're going to work down towards schema. Schemas are quite a good one to have. Intrigue plus 5. Hostile scheme power plus 25. So maybe when we get that, we'll be able to do a bit more in the way of scheming. Still not entirely sure how I'm going to go about claiming this. And maybe we need to work on plenary assemblies as well, actually. Maybe that's what we should be working on instead of birds. Let's have a look. 
Oh, it's there, that's why. So, 231 years. Well, if we focus on that, maybe it'll not be too bad. 31 years. Let's work on plenary assemblies. How can I gain this? I want to make the Kingdom of Sardinia, but how am I, how am I ever going to gain this? Been called to war again. I mean, we'll accept, but I'm not going to bother joining this one, I don't think. Provence again. I'm not even sure why we're allied to these. Who's who's engaged and who's betrothed or married? I... Another little daughter. Magdalena. Yeah, cool. I don't want to fight in this crusade, but we'll give them some money. The heresy's spreading all over the place, actually. Council has died. The best we've got is 14. Not good because the last guy had 23. But actually, um, we're working on county development here and we have done for some time. Ooh, minus 30. Forest of Corpses is taken. <laughs> minus 30, okay. Uh, the county development. It's on 15, actually. It's pretty damn good. Looks like uh, Lotharingia has got some problems. They've got. Oh no, that's in there. I thought, I thought there was a different person in charge. But actually, we've got 2,700 men. So I suppose not actually that much powerful compared to us. We've got a new guy in charge here. Oh, a four? Let's get rid of him. We don't want a four. Yeah, I don't think we want any part of these wars. I mean, uh, not the really. holy war for the Yaldum of Toulouse. Toulouse. We've all, I mean, this is one we, we contributed lots to this. 90% it says, but I mean, we've contributed lots to this war. We captured both places, but defeated them in the field. And the rest of the guys just haven't done their bit, really. Even though they're totally outnumbered. How, how are they still on minus 99? Man? Well, Defeat. Did we get anything out of it? No, nothing. So be it. Never mind. Oh, it's been discovered. I mean, really? Like a 5% discovery chance, but, you know. <laughs> so we could get a lover here, but uh, I don't know. Do we want a lover? She's 32. Nah, let's not bother. Oh, the woods can be a dangerous place. Let's get this guy killed. Huh, perhaps commoners are not so useless after all. Got rid of him. This guy's our best bud now, plus 100. <laughs> and we've done schema. Excellent. Our wife is pregnant again. 42. Right. Well. Good news. Yeah, 63% chance we can murder him, but... Uh, this guy's got the great pox. What what happened? Oh, so who is who is this guy? Not his son. What happened to his son who had... Where's he gone? His, his heir. Where the heck's he gone? The little leper man. Was that not his son? I'm sure that was his son. Oh no no no, that was that was the kingdom. That's right, that's right. I was getting jumbled up there. Oh, so has this kingdom now fractured into smaller parts? It looks like it. There's bits of East Francia and Bavaria. I mean, he's still got two thousand four hundred men, but it does mean that oh, he's got a bunch of allies as well, has he? Yeah, he's got he can raise seven and a half thousand men and allies. What about us? thousand yeah yeah i don't know I, we can't take it militarily that's for sure let's leave it be for now uh, although menorca should be mine and i mean why not here eh? he won't accept but why don't we get a claim on there let's work on swaying this dude oh he's only got six actually let's, let's Let's murder him. I want someone better in there. But he can't get started on fabricating us a claim on Menorca. Just 
That means we have a nice little island out here. I mean, it'll take this guy forever, four years, because he's only got skill six. So our sons come over here. Let's check him out. Juan, Juan, I think, I think it would say, comes of age. With his coming of age, my tutelage of Juan ends. Or Juan, maybe Juan. I don't really know how the Sardinians speak. To be if I'm honest, like just Italian. With sufficient tutelage, even a child that has displayed little natural inclination towards blah blah blah. blah what's he got? Charismatic negotiator. So this guy, 18, 2, 11, 1 in intrigue. I mean, that wouldn't really suit the play style very much, but this guy's at least got 9 in intrigue. So we could work on that. I mean, it doesn't have to be all intrigue, I suppose. You can be a tyrant without intrigue, but it definitely helps. Um, 18 diplomacy is pretty decent, though. 11 stewardship's good as well. 1 and 11. So his stewardship's only 6. I'm not sure. I don't think... I don't... I mean, I don't like either of them, if I'm honest. Can we get rid of this guy? Not really. I well, we could murder him. Is it wise to murder our son, though? Is this guy any better? <clears throat> the one intrigue sucks, but maybe we can do something with his diplomacy skills. I really don't like the look of this guy, and he hasn't fathered any children. Let's get, let's get rid of him. I know he's our son, but, you know, he's not very good. Right, but both these are the same. But one 95 chance of success anyway. Concern for my current war, my friend Kiernan has paid out of his own treasury to aid my efforts. Well, thank you. Lost that war anyway, but... Uh, we gain 179 prestige, and Count Angelbotto has gained 90 opinion of us. With the babe, uh, with the babe cradled in her arms, our corner on when looks up at me. Husband, perhaps we should name her Siwan. Siwan? After her serene acquaintance. Yeah, fine. May he rest in peace. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got rid of this guy, our uh, ex-bishop. Let's check the new guy out. He's a lunatic. That's a good start. He's at least got a skill of 11. Three years are screwed. We'll, just, we'll, we'll live with him. We can't just go kill a bishop off the bishop. My spy mask is going to be great news. Well, we do not know yet. Someone is trying to kill my sister, Margarita. Well, never mind. People are trying to kill each other all over in this court. She would make a good wife. For who? Oh, brother-in-law and chancellor, yeah. Okay. Let's see if we kill this guy, then our son. <laughs> McKelly is dead. Killed by a deep draught of spiced wine. My agent slipped the poison into his goblet and watched it dissolve without a trace. Only when his throat swelled shut did he realise something was wrong, but by then it was far too late. Fortunately, my agent slipped out well before the efforts of the effects of the poison revealed that something was afoot. Yeah, so we've killed our own son. Cheers, McKelly. So we lose 15 stress because we're sadistic. That's, uh, I've never killed my own son in this game, so it's a first... Now, we've got a new heir, and it's this guy. Let's find him a wife. Can we find him an intrigue wife who's not ancient? Not really. Well, she's all right, actually. And she's robust. That could be nice to pass on to children. And she has 16 intrigue, so she could maybe help along those lines. Let's go with that. So that was a first for me. I've never murdered my own son and heir. I'm sure plenty of people have in this game. She's terrified of us, but she still won't convert. Gain some opinion of that guy from Corsica. Oh, hang on. Is he independent? He's got no leash. Is that, does that mean he's independent now? Yeah, I think it does. I think we're going to... Okay, let's fabricate a claim on Ajaccio. Ajaccio? Not sure. But it's going to take a while. Oh, 19 months, actually, so not too bad. Uh, 
if we can get this... This would be amazing, actually, if we can do this. So, let's just see. My spy mask comes with great news. is my wife. She's, she's trying to kill Margaret. So, she's, like, kind of uh, similar to us, actually. She seems to be doing a lot of killing. But she's got some pretty good stats, actually. A good wife. Still only a 5% chance to abduct him. Let's go for... Let's go for Dark Insights and then we'll work on Dreadful next. If we can get this guy, this, this land... If, I think if we can capture one of these places, that means that we can then usurp or form the duchy. Let's let's see, and I'll I'll call it a day at the end of that. I think. She, oh, she gained position. I thought she was pregnant again for a second there. Well, she's a physician now. The price of indulgence. They call it the king's disease, as if there was something luxurious or enviable about swollen joints. So we've got uh, gout. Damn it. Oh, we've got reduced disease symptoms at least. Uh, yeah, all Corsica will be mine. So it's going to cost us 200, but that means we get a claim on the duchy. So let's go and declare war on him. My claims, so that's for the duchy. Oh, this is nice. It's going to cost us 200 prestige. That's fine. Let's raise our army and let's get this place taken. And hopefully it'll be as easy as I'm saying. <laughs> they do only have a thousand men, but they are defending in the hills. So let's wait and see. You died in battle, mate. Well, I guess that's the way of a marshal. Let's give it to this guy. You know he's wounded. Hopefully we can just capture the count or the duke, whatever he is, uh, and then it'll be that done. She's now in a renowned position. One of our guys got killed in the battle. Never mind. Oh, we haven't got a general in charge either. Uh, it's gonna have to be us, I think. Uh, or the marshal. Is my duty to inform you that irrefutable evidence has been unveiled proving that your marriage with uh, our wife is consanguineous in nature? This information will stay between the two of us. Oh. Of course. Uh, our marriage will not be torn apart by an envious lie. So 100% chance that we prove that the claim is fake. Yeah. The council are gone. The marshal again. Died of pneumonia, and our capital is besieged. Damn it! Oh, and we haven't got a really good marshal at all. We've got nobody left <laughs> who's any good. Right? Have we got any women in the court we can marry off? Let's find someone. Nope, we've got nobody. Right. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Right, our marshal's going to be this guy. You know, he's our rival. Um. Right, so we've captured this place and that's the end of the war. Enforce demands. Fuck you. Right. Disband all. And as you can see, we now control both places. And let's see what comes up here. We can create the kingdom of Sardinia. So let's go ahead and do that straight away. It's going to cost us 500, but that's fine. Now we have a royal court. And we are the king of Sardinia. That's awesome, but I'm going to leave it here. Uh, we're going to go straight on and crack on with this in the next episode, but I think this has been a pretty damn good run through. The Corso Sardeni Court. Nice. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave it a like, leave a comment, subscribe maybe if you fancy coming back for more stuff, more, more content. I mean, we, I do another Crusader Kings series, like I say, I play Grand Tactician, there's a couple other games on the go. I'm rolling out somewhere between 5 and 10 videos a week on this channel here, since I've got a bit of spare time on my hands at the moment. So if you like what you see, do come back for more. Like I say, leave a comment and have a little chat. Tell me all the things I'm doing wrong. <laughs> There's always something I'm doing wrong in these games. And I, like I say, I'm, I'm absolutely I'm not an expert in this game at all. I just enjoy playing it. And uh, I hope some of you guys enjoy watching it. But for now, I'm going to go. And I uh, hope you have a great day, whatever you do. And I'll catch you later. Ta-ra for a bit.